This question is clearly testing transitions, but it's a little weirder than usual because the transition word kind of looks like it's in the middle of a sentence. But if we remember some of the punctuation rules, then we, we kind of see that this isn't actually as different as it seems. Remember that a semicolon on the SAT is basically functioning as a period. So as you, for a typical transition question, we're supposed to read the sentence that contains the transition and the sentence that comes before it. Even though this looks like one sentence though, this is really two sentences and we can still follow the, the same strategy here. So in this case, we want something like this being our first sentence and then starting here with those, that's kind of our second sentence. And if we use dumb summaries, we should be able to understand the relationship between those two sentences. So what's the first one saying? Young on the go eaters were thrilled. Well, thrilled seems positive, simple enough. Then for the second part, those who prized regional foods and it Italy's convivial culture built on cooking and long meals feared that the restaurant signaled the death of a way of life. So clearly that is negative. So we're shifting from positive to negative. What transition word does that? Well, however does that, or it's a contrast word. It basically means the same thing as but, and it lets us switch the connotation with just one word. So this isn't so bad, just they twisted up the traditional thing, but it shouldn't really throw us off. That's why, you know, the more you practice, the more you see the same kinds of questions again and again, the more confident you'll be when they try to twist it up on you and make it look a little different. You'll see through that and be able to focus on the more basic idea that they're testing. In this case, same thing. Two sentences, what's the relationship between them? Use dumb summaries to capture it.